Today in lab, we're going to learn how to streak for isolation. You are going to get a plate of bacteria. We're going to be using serratia marcescens, and then you're going to have three plates to streak. There's a couple of different ways to do this, and so I'm going to show you two methods, and then you can choose which one you prefer, or you can try them both and see what works best for you. Remember, when we have plates, we always label the bottom side with the date, with your initials, and then the name of the organism. You have your table directions over here, and when learning, sometimes it's nice to make lines because we're gonna be streaking across this plate and we're gonna be dividing it into quadrants, and sometimes students need lines so they know their boundaries. So to do that, I'm right-handed, so you want to divide your plate roughly into thirds, and these lines don't have to be perfect, but make them as straight as possible. And so that's about a third across the plate. That's roughly a third across the plate. And then you're gonna make a line a third across the plate this way. And like I said, you have a picture of that on your table in your table directions. If you're right-handed, you're going to number it one, two, three, four. If you're left-handed, you're just gonna reverse that and there's a picture there for you. So we're going to be doing this aseptically. So remember you take your inoculating loop and we're gonna incinerate this and we're gonna use that hottest part of the flame at the tip of that inner blue cone. Today we're gonna go from a plate to a plate. And so we're gonna flip our plates over. And for the plate you're going to streak, you want to have this quadrant one at the top. And so I'm gonna flip it over and you wouldn't do this because you wanna be aseptic, but you can see that the number one is there. This is quadrant one. All right, so remember we flame. So from the base to the tip, you want it to glow orange. So all the way to the loop, say microbiology is fun. All right, this loop is now very hot and we want to get a culture of bacteria to streak on our plate. And so find a spot that has doesn't have any bacteria and that is kind of a great place to cool off your loop. If you want a pure culture in this, you would take your bacteria from a single isolated colony. This isn't always possible, but if there is an isolated colony, you just need to take a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna take this bacteria and we're gonna streak it across quadrant one by making a Z pattern, and we're gonna do it approximately five times. You wanna make a tight Z pattern. So you start and so, one, two, three, four, and I made it to five. I made a Z pattern, my lines don't over cross. They don't crisscross each other. Then you're going to flame your loop. You work from the base to the tip till it glows orange, microbiology is fun. All right, we're not gonna go back into this original plate, so flip it back over and move it to we're the side. We're gonna rotate our plate counterclockwise, and notice now the number two is at the top. The goal of streaking for isolation, you're basically taking these cells and diluting them as you streak them across the plate. What you want is to isolate one bacterium. So this is now sterile. So we're going to drag bacteria from this first quadrant across quadrant two, making that same Z pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, and I still have a little more room in two, so I'm gonna go one more, six. Then you're gonna close the plate and flame your loop again. So you flame from the base to the tip till it glows orange, microbiology. All right, so we streak quadrant one, we streak quadrant two. We're gonna rotate counterclockwise again. And now we're gonna streak across quadrant three. We're going to pull bacteria from this portion of quadrant two, and we're gonna use our nice little tight Z pattern. We're not gonna crisscross. And so we pull them over. So one, two, three, 
four, five, I have a little more room, six, and then we're gonna close the plate and we're gonna flame our loop again. So flame from the base to the tip, to the loop, let it glow orange, microbiology is fun. All right, so we streak quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and then we rotate we quadrant four right here. Quadrant four is the money quadrant. We often get isolation in this fourth quadrant and we do things a little differently. We're gonna pull bacteria from this third quadrant into the fourth quadrant, but instead of going into it five or six times, we're only gonna go into it twice. So we're gonna make our same tight little Z pattern. We're not gonna crisscross. And so we go one, two, and I'm not gonna go into quadrant three anymore. And I'm just gonna streak it out, not crossing into quadrant one. I'm not gonna cross those lines and back into quadrant three and use all the rest of the plate, all the real estate of the plate. Close your plate, sterilize your loop and go from the base to the tip. We flip your plate upside down and then this plate is ready for incubation. Another way to streak a plate for isolation is without the lines. Personally, I'm not a line person. So what you end up with is a more free flowing streak pattern. And how you would do that is you would, of course, flame your loop because we need to sterilize it to get the bacteria. So from the base to the tip, microbiology is fun. That's gonna be the same. We're gonna try to select an isolated colony. A little bit. And then turn your plate over and you just kind of remember you start at the top and you're not worried so much about crossing lines. You're just going to go all the way across. And so one, two, three, four, five, and then you stop. You flame. So from the base to the tip, Microbiology is fun. You rotate a quarter, right? Because we're doing quadrants. And you can see your lines. They're faint, but you can see them. And then you're going to take the bacteria from quadrant one. So sweep your quadrant one to over to the edge. So one, go back into quadrant one, all the way to the edge, two, back in one, three, four, five and you're going to rotate again a quarter of the way and I'm talking so I'm kind of taking a lot of time if you're worried that your loop is too hot you can always find a little sizzle spot like I said mine's cooling off because I'm talking and making a video but now you want to drag the bacteria from quadrant two across the plate so you're going to do the same thing so one two three four, five, close your plate, flame from the base to the tip, microbiology is fun. Rotate that last quarter. If you look at this plate, there's a lot of room left on this plate. So we're gonna go into quadrant three just two times. So one and go all the way across two and then with the rest of the real estate i'm just going to keep streaking my z patterns and like i said the idea is as i'm doing this i am diluting the bacteria and ideally what i want is isolated bacteria sitting off by themselves and then they will form colonies which will be a pure culture so when you're done flame always flame before you put your loop down on the lab bench base the tip microbiology is fun Flip your plate over and then it's ready to incubate.